What is up, y'all? How are you guys doing today? If you guys have seen my last video here on this YouTube channel, I actually filmed it yesterday. I went to Cabela's. I brought a magic eight ball with me. And it tried its best to help me catch some fish. It told me where to go fishing. It told me what lures to buy at Cabela's. It did its best, man. If you guys have not seen that video, I definitely recommend going back checking that video out. I was so inspired from that video yesterday. Not really inspired, but it was just so much fun to make. I kind of had a similar idea, but it does not involve a magic eight ball. This time, I'm going to be whipping out my phone here, and we are going to be asking Siri to help us catch some fish today. This is, again, I mean, I don't know how this is going to play out. This is definitely going to be one of those interesting videos. Yeah, man, it's going to be pretty cool. I mean, we know how the eight ball did. Now it's time for Siri to take her turn, his turn. Is Siri... Siri a girl? I wonder what Siri like identifies himself as. You guys are probably wondering like how the heck is Siri gonna help you catch fish? Basically I have this little piece of paper right here. It's just a little post-it note. I have three numbers on it and with those three numbers are three different store names. So one is Walmart, two is Dick's Sporting Goods, and three is Cabela's. I'm putting my trust here in Siri, man. Will you help me catch some giant fish today? Okay. Check it out. All right, well, Siri just kind of did the thing where they searched the internet, but the first thing she said was okay. So I think she's down. First thing that Siri needs to help us out with is where to buy some fishing lures for today. So basically, I'm just going to have Siri pick a number from one to three that's going to correlate with the store name that I attached to that. Siri, pick a number from one to three. That would be one. Siri has spoken, if you guys can see that right there. Number one, that correlates to Walmart, so we're gonna be taking a little trip to Walmart. Ah, all right, man, this is definitely gonna be interesting. Once we get over to Walmart, then we'll decide like everything else here for the day. But yeah, man, Siri has spoken. Let's not waste any time here. Let's get right over to Walmart. Let's start this day off. We have made it. We are over here in the parking lot out front of Walmart. Now, I wish that I could just like talk to Siri and she could like actually talk back, even though that'd be a little bit creepy. But you know what I mean, right? Like I could ask her questions. I could ask her like opinions on things and she could actually tell me, you know, instead of being like, I'll just search it up on the internet. That's all good, man. We just have to put things into her language and that's what we are about to do right now. We need to find out what we're going to be catching the absolute giants and I think Siri here has the answer. This time guys we're going to get Siri to flip a coin. Heads is going to be the creek and tails is going to be the pond slash lake. So let's see. Here. Siri heads or tails? It's tails this time. All right tails. Siri wants us to fish the pond lake. Which I am very happy about because we fished a creek yesterday so today a pond slash lake it is going to be a little bit different. So we're almost there we just need to figure out which pond slash lake we're going to. So I have three that are in mind. All right Siri can you please choose a number from one to three? All right, we can work with that. We're gonna be fishing a decent sized lake here today, and yeah, man, let's just get into Walmart. Need some baits here, need some lures here. We need, we just, we need some stuff, man. Let me stop talking. Let's get into Walmart here. Holy crap, guys, this place is freaking jam-packed. It is 3 p.m. on a Wednesday, and I don't know what the heck everybody's here at Walmart. All right, we need to get over to the fishing stuff right around this area. All right, guys, here is the section. This place, I mean, Walmart is so packed today, but this seems like the only section. Nobody's in, thankfully. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while since I've been to Walmart, especially for, like, fishing stuff. And fun fact, it's actually my first time at this Walmart right here, but this seems like, I mean, they seem to have a pretty good selection. Some of the Walmarts I've been to have had, like, kind of skimpy, like, there's holes on the wall because stuff's missing and they don't really put stuff back. Bunch of rods up there. We have rods over there. I mean, we got... Seems like there's, there's a lot of stuff here. Today, we're not going to be buying any reels. We're not going to be buying any rods. Just focusing on the lore series is going to help us pick that out. And we don't need any of this stuff because that's all saltwater stuff. So we're going to go this way. Now, going to a lake like we're going to be fishing today, I I mean, soft plastics are a really good choice. Now, here on the ground, I picked three different kind of soft plastics. Let me show you guys right here. So basically, we have just some white flukes, some striking little Senko slash stick bait type things. Then we just have some like creature baits. These are some little lizards right here by Zoom. Now these are all around the same price, but we're gonna be asking Siri which one. We're gonna go one, two, three. We're gonna ask her to pick a number from one to three. And that is the soft plastic we're gonna be purchasing and using today. All right, Siri, pick a number between one and three. It's two. All right, two, two, two. This is the soft plastic we're gonna be going with here today. Little Strike King. Uh, I never used these things before. That's why I kind of picked these out over like uh, yum dingers or especially Sanko. Sankos are way too expensive. The idea was that these were like all in the same price range, but right, I'm gonna put these back. All right, so I have the first lure here of the day. Now I've never been to this lake, so I don't know exactly what it looks like or what works there, if it's really fish to catch there. So we got this whole section kind of crossed off here. Those are all soft plastics. I think we're kind of good on soft plastics. Now we're kind of getting into like the frogs or like these uh, kind of swim baits or chatter baits or jigs or anything like that. I don't know, man. Now, as I said before, I've never been to this lake, so I'm not sure if it's really good frog fishing, but I think a frog might be a good choice. They have a pretty decent uh, selection of frogs here, but again, it is all up to Siri. You guys know I love my frogs, though. Heads is yes, tails is no. Siri, is a frog a good idea for today? Heads or tails? It's tails. 
tails. Oh, tails, all right. It's not the day for any of these frogs here. Not gonna lie though, I'm gonna be kind of mad if I get to the lake and it looks like super froggy. Hey man, I gotta go with Siri, gotta trust the process. I don't know, dude, I have a good feeling about this challenge for some reason. I almost forgot too, I'm gonna need hooks for these dudes right here. So let me see over here real quick. I'm not gonna ask Siri, I'm just gonna... Mm, these right here, these... He should do it. These would be interesting. This is kind of like similar to something I found actually snagged on a bank in one of my uh, more recent videos. I, I don't know, dude. I have like absolutely no faith here in Delaware throwing one of these. I mean, maybe if I was somewhere else in the world, maybe it was Texas, Florida or something. That's sick, man. They have a freaking little crappy one. I didn't even see these. These are like extra, extra little crappy ones. And they have little bluegill ones and everything like that. Let's see, man. Let's see what Siri thinks about these dudes. I'm not going to get the big ones. Anything I go for these little ones. Let's see. Heads is yes. Heads or tails? It's tails. Time. All right, no, no, no. We still only have one bait though, so let me see what else is here. What else is here? All right, I'm just gonna pick three things like I did the soft plastics. These are gonna be kind of crankbait style stuff. So first of all, we're gonna go with this little rebel crawfish. All right, next we got a little rattle trap and then a little KVD square bill right there. We're just gonna go ahead and do this right. like we did before. One, two, three. The answer is one. The answer is one. Not gonna lie, I kind of have a good feeling about this because I know the cricket hopper was pretty good and this is similar, but it's not exactly the same thing. So we'll just have to see how that does. What else do we possibly have here? Um, Let's see what Siri thinks about a little spinner. Here. Heads or tails? Tails. Um, yes, okay, no spinner. All right, there's a few jigs here. Those might actually work pretty good at a lake. Let's see what Siri thinks. Again, heads is yes. It's tails. Oh my gosh. I know I just asked about spinners up here. But these are like the infamous $1 Walmart spinner race. Heads or tails, heads is yes again. Heads. Oh, there we go. Let me see what they got here. Mm, I'm kind of digging this little uh, black and chartreuse one right there. All right, y'all, so that is three different lures. I mean, Siri made it kind of clear what she liked, what she didn't like, and here we go, man. These are the three things right here. We have some little stick baits with the worm hooks, the infamous $1 Walmart spinner bait, and then we have this tiny little rebel crawfish right there. Now, I mean, as I said before, guys, I've never ever been to this actual lake before. I've heard that it's kind of good, and I don't know if there's too much access or not. The three lures should be more than enough. All picked by Siri, location picked by Siri. This is, this is, this is gonna be interesting, man. All right, y'all, not gonna lie, it's a little bit windy out here and it looks like it might rain again. It's a little drizzly right now, but it, it's it's gonna pass, man, it's gonna pass. I'm gonna start off with these little uh, little stick baits. I've never ever tried these before. I've tried, I mean, I, I don't know, countless number of brands. But somehow I've just never tried these striking ones. I mean, I've seen them, I've just never picked them up and bought them, you know? A little bridge type of thing here. And yeah, they, oh, that, this is sick. So I can fish this whole shoreline here. There's a bridge, I can fish under the bridge. That's some good cover for some fish. And then over here, oh my gosh, dude, there's a freaking spillway. I mean, the water seems to be a little bit like rapidy. This is gonna be where we're starting off here, guys. There's just a lot of water rushing in. And then there's like a slow moving pool here. So you can see the current break over there. I'm gonna kind of hit right in the slow moving pool, kind of near the current break. See if there's any fish in here that I'll attack, something bigger like this. If not, we do have smaller baits that we purchased today. But yeah, man, let's see what we can do here. So after a lot of fishing later, I mean, just nothing, not nothing, man. All three lures, I mean, the stick bait, the spinner bait, and the little crawfish. I mean, I thought the crawfish would kill it at that little spillway, but I guess it was just not my day at this body of water, man. I don't know what was going on. So yeah, man, I didn't want to waste any of you guys' time, so we're just gonna skip over here. I actually went to the second spot here in the same day. This, if you guys remember I actually went here in a kind of recent video -ish. I had some sunfish nibbling on the little crawfish but I mean no I don't know man I don't know what was up. a lot of hours man I spent pretty much the whole day trying to catch fish on these lures I fished this place until it got dark and then I knew man I had unfinished business the next day I had to go back out again Next day rolls around, I had confidence, man. I was going to a familiar spot. If you guys know my channel, man, you guys know this pond right here. Now, since I moved, I really haven't been back. I really haven't fished any of these places, especially in like the dog days of summer like it is right now. I thought for sure these little Strike King baits were gonna like do crazy here. This pond is really good for little soft plastic worms like this. But yet again, man, many hours cooking in the sun, just no fish. It's funny because even the Gabe Warden came up to me. The Gabe Wardens kind of patrol these ponds and he was like, yo, literally nobody's been catching anything at this pond. So again, man, not wasting any time with that spot we came to this spot right here so this is the pond i actually went to in that little tackle box video that i made and yeah a lot of you guys were saying i mean the water level was so low here that i should save the fish now that gets kind of complicated because i tried to get in contact with the landowner with the pond owner like i didn't know whose fish it was you know you can't it's it's legal guys you can't just take fish if you don't know like whose they are as cool a video as that would have been i mean i just couldn't get in contact with the right person that would have been illegal this is what the pond looks like now i mean it's not 
not a pond anymore. It's super overgrown, as you can see. So that's kind of upsetting. I mean, as you guys can see here, there were good fish in that pond, like nice, nice fish. I'm guessing, I mean, I, I, I contacted so many people. The day after I fished this pond, I had to go on vacation. So I'm just hoping that the people I contacted did something about it and these fish got relocated. Because let me tell y'all, man, there were some freaking nice fish in that body of water. Whew. All right, guys. So I don't even know how many fishing spots we've been to that have just turned out like that. I don't know, man. I mean, I trust Siri. I trust that she picked out the correct lures. I don't know if she put like a hex on them or something. But yeah, man, my mood is just a little bit down. My confidence is a little bit down. I, I have an idea. Hey, Siri, can you tell me a joke? Your fishing skills. Whew, all right, y'all. I don't even know what number pond we are on. I'm gonna throw this out here. Hopefully, we can catch a fish, man. This has been a very long, ongoing process here. I've not fished this in literally like years. This is actually my uncle's pond, and I used to uh, fish this. I mean, when I was younger, I mean, you know, the bluegill worm. We used to dig up worms with my pub up like years ago. Like, I'm talking like when I was a little kid. Now, this is my first time coming back in a long time, and this looks like a freaking frog paradise right here. Wow. All right, I'm seeing fish jumping literally everywhere i'm not gonna lie since i've been here i've seen like five fish hit the top water and i've seen at least two completely jump out like a freaking great white shark to actually like go on the top of the lily pads this is crazy one thing that's like a lot different about this pond than the other ponds that i've been fishing i don't think that this pond get hits much if at all to be honest like the pressure should be very very minimal compared to the other ponds i was fishing so Whew. all right man There's a fish. There we go. Oh God, that was a good fish. What the heck? Dude, it was sailing away with it too. I didn't even feel the bite. I just saw, oh, there we go. There's another fish on it, but I didn't even feel the bite, dude. I just saw it going. I should have set that hook way harder than I did. I just got smacked. Holy crap. There we go, he has it. Oh, I got him pinned. There we go, first fish of the day, coming up. Oh yeah, let's go, dude, let's go. Siri did not disappoint me, looks like. All right, there we go, man, first fish of the day. Ooh, all right, y'all, first fish of the day, long skinny dude, but uh, yeah, man, let's let him go back there. I like, I literally cannot explain how good that feels, actually catching a freaking fish after going to all these places, man. Oh my gosh, all right, we're gonna put the stick bait down, and we are gonna switch over to this, uh, little well, not a cricket a little uh, what was this a little crawfish type dude oh my gosh did you guys see that um because i literally did not i just looked down at the freaking mosquito biting my leg oh my gosh did he eat it on the was, was my bait on the top that's actually a decent fish right there man let's freaking go i mean i heard the splash i have literally no clue what the heck just freaking happened, man? Oh my gosh, let's go, dude. That is why you do not give up easily, guys. I mean, so much time has been spent on this video so far. But yeah, man, Siri has helped us catch these fish. I'm using the same stuff I got from Walmart. And yeah, man, that's actually a really, really pretty bass right there. Whew, thank you so much for biting, buddy. Let's let you go right back, uh, right there. All right, man. Oh gosh. Okay, that's a decent fish. I was fixing my line that was tangled. I think it's a decent fish, or it's just caught up in these pads right here. Oh gosh, he's definitely caught up in the pads, that's for sure. Whew, kind of similar. No, it's a little bigger than the last one. Yeah, man, that is the biggest fish of the day so far. Dude, these fish have been biting at the weirdest times. I just had a little wrap around, like tangle on the tip of my rod, so I was trying to fix it. This dude smacks it, man. Not gonna lie, it looks a lot similar to the fish that just bit, but this one is a little tiny bit bigger. Ooh. But yeah, guys, let him go right there. I'm pretty sure that was a different fish. It looked a little bit bigger. Very freaking happy to be catching some fish, man. I don't even know, man. Definitely if you guys enjoy the whole like Siri thing and if you guys enjoy like the whole concept of this video, please give me a thumbs up. I know this whole video was it was, it was a little rough. I don't know, I mean, a lot of time really did go into this video. Now, a lot of time 
does go into like a lot of my videos don't get me wrong i mean every video i put out you guys would be surprised at actually how long they take to make and also on top of that to actually edit now don't get me wrong i'm not complaining in any way this is this is what i love to do you guys know that but these fish man i don't know what was going on the weather here in delaware definitely has been weird as well as as i said before this is the dog days of summer i mean this is not the easiest time to be catching fish i don't know man i'm just happy that i had the opportunity to get out there and yeah man i really like these kind of videos that i've been making the past one and then this one as well Literally so much fun to film don't worry though i know i uploaded two of these challenge videos like back to back don't worry man we're gonna be doing some other stuff too we're gonna be keeping the content fresh we're gonna be keeping it different shout out to all of you guys actually who commented on my old video this idea for this video now i already had this written down like in my notebook i have like a notebook of all video ideas but some of you guys had the same idea that i had for this video so that's actually pretty cool so shout out to you guys who commented on the last video but yeah guys tough tough fishing i mean hopefully it'll get better it will get better right now it is about 4 a.m i'm just about to finish editing this video for you guys yeah yeah, man that is pretty much it i mean this is fishing you know you never know what is going to happen especially when you film a fishing video if anybody's ever filmed a fishing video before you guys know how it is man you just never know how it's gonna go you never know how the fishing's gonna go you just it's, it's you know what i mean if you guys do enjoy my videos and if you have not already make sure to go down there hit that subscribe button and if you never ever want to miss an upload from me go down there hit that notification bell so yeah man thank you guys so much for all of the support it really really does mean the world to me let's keep this rolling man thank you guys for watching See you next video.